Hey Rob, the crew of Extreme Makeover Home Edition is making some incredible progress on the Tate family's new home on Davis Island. Our Lisa Rimillard has been at the site all week. She joins us now live with an update. Good afternoon, Lisa. Good afternoon, Susan. Work on the Tate family home is moving along very, very quickly. Take a look at it behind me. This house is going to be gorgeous by the time it is completed. But these hundreds of volunteers aren't the only ones to be commended for their work. The first firefighters who were here the day that the crash saved lives and saved the Tate's neighbors from any damage to their homes. Today, these four firefighters are bystanders on the set of Extreme Makeover Home Edition, like everyone else watching the construction of the Tate family's brand new house. But at 12.36 on the afternoon of June the 12th, they weren't bystanders, they were heroes. We had neighbors banging on the door, telling us we had a plane down uh, that had crashed into a house and the house was on fire. That house belonged to the Tates, and within minutes, four of the firefighters from Station 17, located just six doors down from the house, arrived to see something they weren't prepared for. We had uh, heavy smoke and fire. Um, I could see the uh, plane had taken out the fence in this area, and it was wrapped around the fuselage in the driveway. We had to actually jump over a river of, uh, a river of fire that was coming from the fuel from the plane. And that was uh, that was first time I ever had to jump over fire to get to more fire to put it out. That fuel, along with the rainy and windy weather on that day, kept the fire burning for more than an hour. The co-pilot escaped with severe injuries, but the pilot himself died in the accident. Cynthia Tate was inside her home when the plane crashed into it, but made it out in time just to watch her house burn to the ground. A little while later, we saw her stand across the street crying and. Seeing her house go up in flames was pretty tough on her, you know. The Tates lost everything in that fire, but the folks at Extreme Makeover are hoping this new house will make them whole again. But for Ronnie and Skeeter, who were here seven months ago looking on in disbelief as the fire raged on, today they can look on with happiness for a deserving family. To see the progress they've made here is, is, is pretty darn amazing. Well, these firefighters, these firefighters, have been out here. They've been helping out the Extreme Makeover crew. In fact, just yesterday, they brought out the fire hose to help fill up their brand new pool. So they have been really involved in this process. They say they are thrilled for the Tates, especially as we get closer. Now, the builder tells me that they are right on track to be giving the Tates their keys to their brand new home on Sunday afternoon. And if you want more information on this, you can go to our website, abcactionnews.com. Make sure you click on Ty's picture that's on the homepage, and you'll get all the information you need to know.